All right, we got a question. Let's hit this question right here. Uh, Freddie asked this. I'd love to know what your greatest pain points are for your property managers with tenants. Is it communication, maintenance calls, pushing orders through, timing, quality? Where are they and what are, where are they and what are the specific examples? So why don't you answer? Start with that. So uh, that's a great question, Freddie. The problems that actually get to my desk are different than they were um, back in the day. Uh, I would say, you know, security deposits has never been an easy process. I think, you know, communication helps a lot, being upfront, providing information, more information, the better to the resident. Um, problems that I deal with nowadays, like lawsuits, that's a, it's a real big problem, especially in Florida, where if you listen to the radio, literally every single commercial break has another, you know, uh, attorney and, and you know that's trying to sue people for slip and falls and accidents and and everything under the sun so that's i'd say those those problems are just they're just time consuming and um just if you can avoid them we avoid them at all costs um so um yeah i mean the same stuff that we're dealing with today everybody had to deal with uh, back in the day um so for example like a work order, right? Your garbage disposal goes out. Back before tech existed and we had fancy, you know, apps, you, it was the same thing, right? Communication's a little easier now, um, but that's, you know, we we also have a lot more transparency with our owners and a lot more communication with our owners because you can hop on a Zoom call and meet them face-to-face -face, even though they're in California, um, you know? And so with the technology, new challenges arise, right? So for me, in, in my world, it's about, you know, I think it was Matthew talking about like, you know, time blocking and being able to set time aside on your schedule and actually keeping some of that time for yourself to work on your business. is so hard because you can fill up every second of your calendar today um, with meetings and conversations and you have to, you have to learn to, to prioritize your time too. Awesome. Great answer. Uh, Tim, what about you? Thinking back to uh, your time with your property managers when they were dealing with tenants, what was the what are the biggest pain points? Well, I'm back to dealing with them a little bit uh, myself right now. So uh, I'm managing uh, a lot of my own stuff and some stuff directly for some other people while I'm doing it. So I've actually got some direct experience with this over the last few months. I'll tell you what, it's really hard <laughs> from top to bottom. It is really, really hard. But, I, you know, one of the things is I think this industry, since we started Back in, you know, Duke started in 2007, I started in 2009, a lot of manual processes. We've evolved so much over the last 13, 14 years to a place where we're trying to automate everything. We're trying to automate everything, yet people still want to chat with us. So how do you, it's a, a juxtaposition that has got really no great answer. People sometimes just want to call you. They want to have that conversation because it's the place that they live has a problem. And we have set up so many systems to automate things where they're just shooting a work order into our sponsor at Folio's uh, maintenance system, right? Or property melt or, you know, one of our automated systems or our phone trees or that we have AI that's picking up now. And sometimes they just want to talk to a person. So our system is not being set up for our tenants sometimes is difficult. Now, if you're going to scale your business, you simply can't answer every phone call, right? If you have... 150 properties under management for, and you're the only one running them, you're physically not able to pick up any phone calls. So you have to set up these systems. So I think it's just the one-off situation where somebody just desperately wants to talk to you to, to feel better and finding the time to do that because our systems simply aren't set up that way for the most part. Um, and the industry continues to go that direction. So I think that's pretty difficult. So just going back to the communication piece and how you set up your systems, how you make time for people because it really, no matter how big you get as a company, whether you're 100 units or 14,000, it's still a personal business because it's the place where people live. I got to admit, I didn't have juxt juxtaposition on my bingo card today. So I uh, appreciate you working that in. Tim. I've got I've got four more that I'm trying to work in. So I don't know. What's I, can not barely even, I can barely even say it being from Alabama. Well, Alabama, you beat me to the Alabama joke there too. Great. Uh, great some good questions in the in the chat box there. Can I just say one thing, uh, just to top, put a bow on like tenant problems? One of the things that we're seeing, and this is more of like a maybe a more recent trend, is uh, leasing is slowing down uh, relative to what it has been in the past. And so 
Uh, one of our big friction points right now, and the thing that we're talking about internally a lot is, hey, you know, leasing feels like, it, it just feels like, and some of the data is starting to represent that we're not able to lease as homes as fast and days on market are starting to creep up into, into numbers that we haven't seen, frankly, in, um, in years. And, uh, and, you know, we're trying to figure out, well, why is that? Did COVID pull a lot of that forward? That's probably some of it. Uh, so that's, that's one of our big, like, internal challenges right now.